I'm worried. This might turn up for Ready. Uh oh. Yes! Did you see that? No! My little stepbrother Oscar is autistic, but he doesn't let it define him. The other day he ran his first road race. How are you feeling, Oz? Okay, nervous, I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> are you excited? Yes, thank you. Can we get going? Yes, bye bye. It was amazing, I could just, couldn't run all the way, I had to fancy the stitches, but I never gave up. I managed to come before any of the rest of my family did. I'm so proud, this is the biggest run I've ever done in my life. Oh, well done, yeah. And uh, when did you decide to do the race? Well, when my dad texted me on Friday, at first I thought it was an April Fool's joke, it would have been the 1st of April, but then it turned out it wasn't, and I wasn't sure at first, because I thought, I'd better do it, because I'd regret it if I didn't, because I'm very fit, I'm very healthy, I've got long legs, and I just <laughs> can do something like this, I know. As it's Autism Awareness Week, I wanted to ask my little stepbrother what it's like being autistic. And do you feel any different to anyone? Sometimes I feel like I look a bit different. It's, uh, well, just because when I'm walking around, people often look at me differently than others. And what's that make you feel like? A bit stressed. And what was it like today doing the 10k? Fine. Two more finishes. Yeah. Is today. Like Thank you again, yeah. everybody. Do, uh, do you think it'll give you a bit more confidence? Yes. Oscar was diagnosed with autism when he was three years old, but many people aren't as lucky and they're waiting ages for a diagnosis. My stepdad said it really helped to know that Oscar was autistic. Because Oscar developed really fast in certain areas and other areas you expect a child to develop, he wasn't. And we thought, well, what's wrong with it? Why? And once we had a label, it actually helped us because we could understand and work out why he reacted to certain things and why he was good at some things and not so good at things that you would think people were obvious. And in terms of awareness around autism, are there any ways in which people could improve how they treat autistic people? Well, there are. I think the biggest problem comes is when you might see somebody who looks a bit odd in public, in the shopping centre, a child or an adult. But, um, it's just just letting live and let live. So if somebody's behaving a little bit funny, maybe a lot of autistic people like to do this sort of thing, don't they? Or pat and that sort of thing. Yes. Um, so what? Does it hurt anyone? <laughs> Are they all right? Yeah, they're all right. Are they hurting anyone? It's life. What's it feel like today watching Oscar oh, the race? Oh, it was lovely. Seeing him run ahead of me, I thought, steady on. He's never run at all. I'm, it's the first time I've done a 10K, first time he's done any road race. Um, and then I just saw him go further and further ahead. He looked like he was trotting, like, like Bambi trotting along. And I thought, <laughs> he's not even working. He's just, this is just natural to him. Um, and when I got to the end and he said, I loved it, it was great. I thought, wonderful. So I wonder whether we can find a running club close to where he lives, where there's somebody that might understand Oscar's needs and help him, nurture him, show him how to train properly, stretching beforehand and I think he might really enjoy it. Further, further, further. Brilliant. <laughs>